Welcome to the Cherries TV. <laughs> Welcome to the Cherries TV. My name is Abby and I love anything that smells, feels, and smells good, you guys. Y'all already know what part it is. It's part four. And part four is gonna be a little bit different. I'm not gonna go ahead and get into the notes. I'm gonna keep it short and simple so we can get these fragrances through. So if you would love to see part four of my whole entire fragrance collection, go ahead and keep on watching. <laughs> Welcome, 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 welcome to all the new subscribers, the new family members. You guys, I'm so happy to see you guys on this channel. I'm so happy that you guys chose my channel to subscribe to. You guys, if you're new here, my name is Abby and I am a fragrance lover, okay? <laughs> I love fragrances. I love home fragrances. I love car fragrances. I love anything that smells good because if it smells good, it makes me feel good. I love anything that smells, feels, and smells good. All right, guys, if you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified for every single video that I do post. Now, once you finish subscribing to the channel, go ahead and click that notification bell right by that subscribe button and put it on all so that you can get all my notifications, videos, and giveaways. Guys, let's get into this video. <laughs> All right, so y'all already know how I've been doing it. I've been getting into the houses and I work my way down to the fragrances that I have like one or two from. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do it a little bit different this time. We're gonna start with the juicier house. And um, it's the house of Mugler. Yes, you guys, I would never think that I would have Mugler in my collection, but I'm starting to love it. Cause at first, Alien made me go, mm, but... I love me some of the alien flankers. I just can't get with the regular alien right now. And it's okay, it's okay. And in a couple of years or months, you never know, maybe a couple of hours, I might find love for the OG alien. But for today, for right now, for this video, I'm not, not yet. <laughs> so now the first fragrance is one that I have put in my blind by fails. And I don't know why, it's one of those you know what? I have a love and hate relationship with this one. This one is one that sometimes I don't like and sometimes I like. I don't know why, because it's so black to me, but sometimes I wear her and she's just so gorgeous. But, you know, I don't know. It is um, Terry Mugler's Alien O Sublime. Alien O Sublime is in a nice, pretty bottle. Clearly you can tell that I've been using her because I'm trying to figure out if I like her or not. And I finally decided that I like her. I was gonna give her to my mom. I just ordered my mom another one. She bought one herself and I just ordered another one for her. And I decided to keep this in my collection because if I have a love-hate relationship with it, most likely, deep down inside, I do love her. I just, just don't want to admit it, I guess. I don't know. But um, Alien O Sublime is a fresher, cleaner version of Alien. It has a little bit of vanilla on the bottom. Now, see, that's the part that I'm really struggling with. The vanilla. The vanilla. Okay? Sometimes I get the vanilla. Sometimes I don't. It, I don't know. It depends. But um, Alien O Sublime is one of the fragrances in my collection. And this Alien Flanker is a beautiful flanker. This is the flanker that I tried the first time and it made me dive into more alien flankers and more um, Mugler frank, flank, um, fragrances. And um, this one is Alien Oud Majesty. Now, first thing that attracted me to this fragrance is the bottle. The bottle is to die for, you guys. Just look at that bottle. It starts off with a solid gold and then it works its way up into this see-through ground and then this um, clear crystal um, plastic top it's really pretty. The only thing I don't like about the Alien bottles is this. It's just like really loose in my opinion. It could have been a little bit tighter and more secure. But nonetheless, this one is a beautiful Alien Franker. This is actually my favorite Alien, um, honestly. My number one because of the Oud. The Oud just made it smell, taste, smell, smell, taste. Really heavy taste. I, guys, I don't drink my fragrances. 
I only smell them. But <laughs> this one makes me smell so good. It smells really good. The oud is a little bit skinky, and then it dries down to a beautiful jasmine-y um, fragrance with oud in it. And um, Alien Oud Majeste is beautiful. Now this next alien that I do have is one that is discontinued. So I'm sorry if it's hard for you to find it. The beautiful, beautiful flavor of the alien. This one almost made it to the number one spot until I smelled Oud Majesto. This Alien Essence Absolute, it is gorgeous. The bottle is actually my favorite bottle from the Alien Flanker. Beautiful bottle. Like, it has a nice little curve right here. It's simple, it's see-through. You can see the dark juice, which I love. And it's a miniature, it's not big. I'm so happy that I got the 60 ounce. Um, Alien Essence um, Absolute is a beautiful vanilla incense um, version of Alien, and I love her. Now we're moving out of the aliens, and we're going into the angels. And y'all all know how strong and potent the original angel is. Don't have that one, but I do have one that is really similar to it, but it's a little bit toned down to my level. And it is Angel EDT, the 2019 version. I mean, just gorgeous fragrance. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. Mm. Oh my God, it's so fruity and clean. And it lasts all day. You guys, when um, usually EDTs don't last all day, but Mueller EDTs, amazing. <laughs> Angel EDT is a beautiful, beautiful flanker from the Angel line. Now we're jumping into the my favorite angels, and we're gonna start off with um, Muse. And this one is Angel Muse EDT. Now, like I said, their EDTs are strong. Nuclear do not play when it, when it comes to EDT. EDTs are strong, so imagine the EDPs. So um, this is Angel Muse EDT. This is literally what I wanted from the EDP. This is like a with um, chocolate and it has fruity, um, it has a fruity opening. And let's go ahead and spray it right here. The mist is really good. It dries down to, it opens up with a, like a burst of fruits and then it dries down into a nice milk chocolate in my opinion. And you still get that patchouli um, towards the dry down, but it's just beautiful. It is really, really beautiful. And this one you can actually wear it during the summertime if you want a strong gourmand fragrance for the summertime. Now we're going to the OG Muse. Now the OG Muse is a beautiful fragrance. It is an, like a nice, nice how can I say this? It's a nice gourmand, okay? It's really, really nice. And I only have the um, one ounce because I'm still testing her out. I can't wait till the um, fall and um, winter time to actually wear her, but I do, do love her. I love her a lot. The, last week, I put her in my diffuser and y'all, my whole house smelled like a patchouli chocolate bomb. It was gorgeous, you know, because the diffuser has water and um, the fragrance, you know, got dropped in the water. So I toned it down just a little bit and it was still strong. Like only four sprays was way more than enough. You literally only need two sprays inside of the diffuser. But it was gorgeous. This is literally um, a gourmand. A lot of people say they smell nutmeg. Not nutmeg, hazelnut. It's like Nutella. Um, wow. It is gorgeous. I finally do smell the Nutella in this, and I smell the patchouli. It is a beautiful, beautiful bomb, and it lasts all, all day. All day. Angel Muse. Now, this one is my favorite angel of the, all of them. Like, from Angel Muse and Angel EDT. This is my favorite, and it is actually a summery scent, and it doesn't even smell like the angels that are out there like it is angel or crossier the 2020 version oh my god first of all look at this beautiful bottle like a rainbow bottle like, it's gorgeous the only thing i don't like about this bottle is the fact that it doesn't stand but 
what can you do? When you like a fragrance, you just take it how it is. And it is fig. It's a tropical vibe, y'all. Just tropical vibes. That's all I gotta say. It's like a fig note in here, but it kind of smells like fig and coconut. You could get them mixed up. And it's like a creamy fig milk in here. It's very beautiful. I feel like you can wear this in the summertime and in the fall time. Because of the creaminess, the fig puts in there. Mm, guys, it is limited edition for 2020. Please get your hands on it. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's my favorite, 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 favorite angel of them all. All right, guys, so now we're going to jump into the house of YSL. Now, YSL is a house that I'm really, really, really liking, but I only have two fragrances in the house. Don't know why, but these two fragrances are the only ones that really moves me besides the um, men fragrances. I like more men fragrances in their line more than the females. Don't know why, don't ask, but there's one fragrance that they came out with that I am in love with. And you guys already know it. I've done story times with it plenty of times and it is none other than Black Opium. Black Opium is the scent that I wore when Mark asked me to be his. And I said yes. And ever since then, this scent has been in my mind. It's a beautiful coffee fragrance. It is amazing during the winter, amazing during the fall, amazing during the summer and spring. You can actually pour this coffee scent throughout the whole year. And that's what I've been doing. I actually have another bottle of it, but it's packed up in a gift set. I usually have this one all out. <sighs> I love this fragrance. I love this. So I have this one. This is the um, fragrance that came in the set. And then it has a bigger 3.4 ounce um, black opium. You guys, I don't even have to tell y'all more, more about it. Y'all already know that I love this fragrance. Now, the fact that I loved black opium, I went ahead and um, I went ahead and got the black opium floral shock because I wanted to see their take on a floral coffee type scent and this is just gorgeous just like it says it's a floral shock the dry down does remind me of the OG black opium which is really amazing but for the first couple of hours of this fragrance you do get the florals and um y'all it's beautiful if you haven't tried this go ahead and try it um there is a couple more flankers there's the neon but those ones are a little bit too much too intense for me right now so that's why i'm sticking to these two as um one of these bottles run out i'll probably try the one of the neons but at the moment right now i'm not gonna dive into it yet but um floral shock by black opium is a gorgeous 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 fragrance now the next house we're gonna dive into is a house that i really really love and it's one of the houses where i dived in and i started my love for fragrances and it is the house of coach and we're gonna start off with the first fragrance this fragrance has been my literally my signature scents for like the past three years. I have like, I would have at least, at the least, um, throughout the th three years, I would probably have like 10 fragrances and this one is the one that I would wear every single day. And it is none other than Coach. Coach is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It has florals, it has rose in it. <sighs> this is actually, this explains my love for rose because when I got into this fragrance, I didn't even think about notes. But for some reason, this fragrance stood out from all the other fragrances. Why? Because it had the rose. I never realized that I love rose so much. And to this day, I will still wear this one. If I don't know what to wear, like literally, I will pull for Coach. If you don't have this in your collection, guys, go ahead and get it. It's fresh, it's clean, it lasts all day. It's a compliment getter. Like, men actually love smelling this on me. I always get a compliment with this one every single time I wear it. I did mention her in my compliment getter on video part one. Mm. Wow. And you can tell that I love it with the dent that is in this fragrance. You can already tell. Coach, get with it. Because you're going to like it. I promise you that. <laughs> mm, it's so good. Now, the fact that I love that one so much, I was like, hmm, let me dive into this house a little bit more. Let me go ahead and dive in. And I went with <laughs> Coach Floral. <laughs> and this is a prettier, prettier version of that one. This is actually a little bit more feminine because this one, honestly, a man can actually pull this off and you wouldn't even know if it's a female fragrance, honestly, because it can be worn on a man. 
this one is a little bit more prettier. It's a little bit more calmer. It does project, it's, but it's closer to the skin. And she right here, she gets me compliments too, but, but I wear her when I'm trying to smell cute. You instantly get the florals. It has some fruity, fruity notes in it too. I could smell it. Don't quote me on that, but what I'm smelling right now, I do smell some fruity notes. Wow, I forgot how pretty she was. She is so pretty. She's one I can wear. It's um, work friendly. She's one that I wear if I have an interview as well. I want to smell pretty and elegant. That's the one I wear as well. I love this one and it is so beautiful. Guys, please check out these coach fragrances because a lot of people are sleeping on these coach fragrances. Now this next one, since I fell in love with Coach so much with these two fragrances, I was like, okay, let me go ahead and blind buy this one. And this one is one that I found at Marshall's. And um, it's not my favorite. I think it's called um, Coach Freesia. It's a pretty cute little bottle, but it's not my favorite, y'all. I don't know why. I don't actually use her in my diffuser for my house. Let me smell her again so I can see. Something about it kind of gave me like a Play-Doh type scent. I don't know. I don't pull for her, but I don't know. Yeah. If you have this, let me know how you feel about it. Because this one, I found it at Marshall's. And I thought I would love it because the Coach fragrances are, those two ones were like 10 out of 10 for me. But this one, mm -mm. it's just a regular smegular sweet fragrance. But the bottle was cute though, so I love it. Like this little pink mark, pink or almost purple type. And then this gold and then the bottle. It's just so cute. It was so cute. But um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be keeping her in my collection for too long. Mm. Coach Poppy, um, Freesia, I think. Freesia? Yeah, Coach Freesia. All right, guys. So, if you're enjoying this video, go ahead and like the video. Now, if you're enjoying this video more than the next person, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Now, if you're enjoying this video more than everyone, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified for every single video that I do. All right, guys, let's get back into this video. All right, so now that we went over the houses that I have, um, the fra multiple fragrances in, we're just gonna jump right into the houses that I don't have multiple. Like, you know, I just have one or whatever. We're just gonna go down the list. So now we're gonna get into the house of Valentino. And this is the only fragrance I've had from the house of Valentino and it was actually a birthday gift. And it is Valentino Born and Roma. So this is the one that I've been spraying because it was a gift set. And this is a one ounce bottle. Like, y'all, don't tell me that this bottle is not cute. Don't tell me this bottle ain't cute because, honey, it is so cute how the bottle is studded. It is just gorgeous. And then the black right here, if it was gold, I honestly would have liked it better. But the fact that it's um, a different one, it's not the regular Donna, I think it works perfectly. I've grown to like it. Um, it is gorgeous. And I also have the full bottle right here. The full bottle is not sprayed yet, but it's not like the other one. The other one has a cap, and this one has like a little stopper thing here so you can spray it. But I haven't sprayed this one yet. I'm trying to get rid of the um, small bottle first so that I can spray this one. Valentino, born in Roma. All right, guys, so this fragrance right here is a fragrance that I've been eyeing for a couple months. And every single time I go into TJ Maxx, it's like $140. This is a fragrance that I've been looking at reviews for, and I really, really wanted to get it. It was this one and in Tonka. They didn't have no more of the Tonka. I guess someone decided to pay the $140 price for it. I don't know. But it is a fresh and clean fragrance. I think it has some Noroli in it definitely has some type of honey it's sweet and tarty i love this and um i'm so happy that i got it mm, it is so so good it is such a beautiful scent it has a little bit of spicy to it and i'm really looking forward to wearing this for the next couple of days because this is going to be my scent for the next couple of days um yeah nectar by commodity because honestly it is still hot in Florida. All right, guys, so this one is from the house of Savitar Ferragamo, and it is Almo Ferragamo. Almo Ferragamo is a beautiful, sweet 
fragrance. I call it a Vermont fragrance for the summertime because it is so soft and pretty and just comforting. It's cozy. You can wear it to bed and you can wear it out. It sits close to the skin, but it lasts a good amount of time on your skin. Mm. On the opening, it's like an orangey type note. It's like an orange survey, but it doesn't have no orange note in it, which is crazy. It's so cool how people could make um, these notes smell like a certain fruit or a certain vegetable and they don't have it in there. It's it's just amazing, it's mind blowing. But yeah, Amo Ferragamo is one that I'm really enjoying and it is part of my collection. And I think it's gonna be the only one that's part of my collection from this house. I don't know, until I smell something that's very groundbreaking. I haven't, ooh. Oh, I forgot how good this smell though. This is, mm, guys, please get this in your collection. It's such a pretty scent. It is such a pretty scent. All right, guys, so now we're gonna get into the house of Prada. I only have one fragrance from Prada, but this is my favorite from that house. I smelled Prada candy, I smelled Prada, um, can the other flankers of candy, but they're sweet. They're like regular sweet fragrances that I don't need to add into my collection because I've, I have a lot of other sweet fragrances. But this one is one that I needed to have in my collection, and it is Prada. Le Femme. This is a fragrance that is fresh and clean and soapy feeling. Like, it is so clean and fresh. Oh, wow. It's clean, it's fresh, it's feminine. It is very, very, very beautiful. This is the one that I'll pull when I just got out of the shower and I just want to smell fresh and clean. I just want to smell fresh and clean, so I spray it on me while I'm damp on my skin, and then I go put on my clothes. And then I would spray it on top of my clothes and on me again, and then I get a good five to six hours with this one. It is very pretty. It projects moderate. You gotta be real close to me to smell it, but it's pretty and fresh cleaning. People wouldn't even know that I have a fragrance on. They'll just think that I smell pretty. And it is Prada La Femme. Now the next fragrance is from the House of Versace and it is Dylan Blue. Dylan Blue, it was a gift from Fragrance Net and it is another fresh and clean um, fragrance. This one has some fruity notes on top of it. Honestly, when I first got um, Dylan Blue, thought it was gonna be, I've never smelled it before, right? I thought it was gonna be a, a, a darker fragrance. I didn't realize that it was gonna be a freshie. So that really like turned me off. This is not my favorite fragrance, honestly. I could live without Dylan Blue. Honest, I'm just gonna be honest. But, yeah, I could live without it, honestly. It's another freshy fragrance and it's okay. But the bottle is cute. I feel like the bottle does not go with the juice that's inside. The bottle goes with a darker type of fragrance. Like, this should have been something real dark and sexy, but hey. Dylan Blue. Now this one is from a niche house. This was actually the second ever niche fragrance that I've ever bought. The first niche fragrance I bought was Molecule 01 and y'all seen that in um, the previous parts. But this one is Van Cliffs and Arpels Orchidy Vanilla. Y'all can already see the dent. I did give away a 10 and out to a lucky subscriber. A very loyal subscriber too at that, thank God. But... <laughs> It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's a beautiful powdery oh, vanilla fragrance. I got it during the winter time last year and it was my go-to vanilla fragrance. I layered it with everything. It doesn't last long, but when I do layer it, I put it on top of the fragrance. It is gorgeous. And I will always have this in my collection because it's a beautiful, 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 beautiful vanilla scent it has some fruity notes in there and it has some powdery notes it's just a gorgeous all around vanilla I think it's probably my my favorite vanilla I haven't smelled anything that I like more than this one honestly because I've smelled on um, the deep the the girl on vanilla line Angelique Noir um, Dublit Tonka Imperial all of those I smelled them they were not that groundbreaking they're, they're beautiful but this one right here is slept on um, Orchid Vanilla by Van Clef and Arpel. Next house is the house of Carolina Herrera, and I only have one fragrance from them, and it is none other than Good Girl. Good Girl is my sexy bomb fragrance. I wear this when I want to feel sexy, I want to go have fun, I want to 
feel like I have no care in the world, no job, no jo no um bills, nothing. Like I am just a free person. This is what I wear. It's so sexy. It's pretty. It's sweet. I've never smelled anything like this. This DNA is a really unique DNA. There is dupes of it, but it's pretty. I like it. A lot of people don't like it, but I like it. Let me go ahead and spray her. Mm, I already smell spray stuff right here. Let me spray her right here. Ooh, in the mist. Mmm, it is sexy. It's a gorgeous fragrance. It's so sweet. If you don't like sweet fragrances, mm -mm. and I realized when I went to um Neiman Marcus, the essay showed me that th the reason why it's a shoe is so that when you're getting ready, you can put your phone here. And I tried it. My phone does sit on it perfectly, and um you can be watching like your makeup tutorials while you make it do your makeup and getting ready. Listen, I've tried it and I've used it. Mm, good girl by Carolina Herb. All right, so now we're jumping into another niche offering. And this one is one that I want in a giveaway. And it is such a beautiful, ah, beautiful, beautiful blend of a fragrance. It is a um, beach type fragrance, but this is not like one of those tropical um, generic beach type fragrances this is so realistic it's ridiculous imagine walking down the beach going towards the shore where the um you know the waves are coming like what, pretend like you're walking towards the beach like towards the um, ocean right and then you stop there in the beginning and then you just let the waves hit you on your feet and the sands between your toes and you smell the birds, the seagulls around you, you smell the sand, you smell the water, you smell the seaweed. The air is fresh and it's clean. Are you imagining it? Are you there yet? Now, imagine that scent, that beautiful scent with a tad bit of sweetness in a bottle. Oh my God, it is gorgeous. And it is from the house of Sarah Baker and it's called Atlante. Y'all, this fragrance, I want it in a giveaway. It's an indie house. I want it in a giveaway. And when I tell you guys, I was so happy. It was my first time smelling this fragrance. And it is such a beautiful fragrance. And it also gives me like a makeup type vibe. But it's just blended so well. Like I really want another fragrance from her line and it's called Lace. And I think I'm gonna get it. So don't be surprised if you guys see another beautiful bottle like this in my collection. But this is from the house of Sarah Baker and it's called Atlante. And then the nose behind this fragrance was Sarah McCartney. Atlante by Sarah Baker. Now this fragrance is one fragrance that I've really, really been enjoying. And it is, some say it leans more masculine, but y'all already know if y'all been rocking with me, I love masculine type scents as well. I don't, I'm not scared to wear a masculine fragrance because I know how to pull it and I know what outfit to wear and I know what attitude to put on when I'm wearing those fragrances, okay? <laughs> and this is from the house of Nishane. Nishane is a um, niche house and this one is Hockey Vibe. Y'all, this is a beautiful, oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful 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 pineapple fragrance some will say that it is a Aventus clone um in the beginning you will get a Aventus vibe for just a quick second and then you'll find out that this is 10 times better than Aventus and then whenever people use a pineapples in a fragrance they automatically feel like they're copying Aventus no just because Aventus have pineapple doesn't mean that we're copying off of it, you know, just because we'll put pineapple in our fragrances. But this is a beautiful, beautiful pineapple fragrance. And um, I want this in the actual giveaway. That's the reason why I got a 50 ml. Next, when this when this run out, I'm gonna definitely get me a 100 ml, guys, because it's a gorgeous fragrance. Me and Mark been wearing this all summer. And um, we put her aside, because you know, the, um, the fall time is coming so we don't want to you know waste it but this is one that you can wear year-round it could be a signature scent as well and it's so potent and it's, it's not a regular um concentration it's an extract de parfum 
and that's the highest concentration a perfume can have. Extracted perfume lasts all day. You only need two sprays max, and you will be projecting. It is so obnoxious if you spray more than five. Then two, then two. If you spray, if you if you go past the two sprays, you're crazy at this point because you will choke out, and everybody else will choke out too. Um, Nishane Hockey Bots. It's beautiful, and y'all know Abby lives for the black and gold. Now this one is a house that is called Armoff. And um, this fragrance, I didn't realize that it was a dupe house type of kind of fragrance. House, kind of. I didn't realize it. And I got this fragrance from them years ago. And um, I didn't know that it was from Armoff. I just went to the mall and then I smelled it and I was like, okay, I got it. You can tell that I've had this for a long time because the top is nowhere to be found. And then this thing is like loose. But it's a gorgeous scent. It's called Tag Her. It had a tag here. But y'all already know I've had this for a long time. It's a sweet fragrance. Like, ooh, it's so pretty. Nowadays, I don't know what this is a dupe of, but it's a gorgeous scent. Um, it doesn't smell like anything I've smelled before because maybe I haven't smelled the dupe. And if y'all know what it's a dupe for, go ahead and comment it down below because I don't know. But most likely, I probably didn't smell the dupe, but it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And um, um, Tag Her by Armoff. And I recently got another Armoff fragrance, and this one is because of Coco Peps. She um, did a Armoff house haul video explaining most of the Armoff fragrances that she got. And this one is Club de Nuit Intense. Club de Nuit Intense is a dupe for Noir de Noir. And I have a decant of Noir de Noir, and I had I got the full bottle of Club de Nuit, and I smelled them. First of all, Noir de Noir is from Tom Ford, right? My favorite house of all time, if y'all didn't know. And I smelled this fragrance, and I put them side by side, right? Noir de Noir in this hand, and Club de Nuit Intense for Women on this hand. When I tell you, by the end of the day, this, I could barely smell it. This was still projecting. This was still projecting really, really loud. And they smell all, like, the only reason why I'm not gonna say 100% because Noir de Noir is an original, this is a dupe. But they smell identical. This actually projects longer and it lasts longer than Noir de Noir. So why should I get Noir de Noir in my collection? Probably just for the bottle. Mm, it is a dry, because most people don't say that, but it is dry in the opening. It has some rose, um, some other fragrance notes that I don't know for sure. But y'all already know what Noir de Noir I have, and it's a unisex fragrance. A lot of men prefer, prefer this one. Let me spray this in the air. Mm, it's so sexy, it's sweet. Oh my God, I love um, Club de Nuit Intense. I love it. All right, now guys, we are at our last two fragrances and these two fragrances happen to be from the same house and it is the house of Serge Luton. First fragrance that I wanna to share to you guys is Ubois Vanille. Ubois Vanille is a coconut vanilla fragrance. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful vanilla fragrance and I had to get my nose on it. It was a blonde buy and I really, really enjoy it. It's not one of those typical um, vanilla fragrances. Calm down, no. You have to be a little bit more mature to like this fragrance. Or you have to like a little bit more mature fragrances to like this fragrance because it is on the mature side of things. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. It lingers on all day. It has a beautiful sillage. Projection is moderate. And it is just gorgeous. <laughs> and this one is Shergi by Serge Luton's. And this one is a beautiful, can y'all look at the juice? It is so dark. It is so dark. This is a beautiful ambery incense fragrance. It is blended so well. The house of Serge Luton really did that when they came out with this fragrance because this fragrance came out, I think probably 2008 or 2002 or something like that. But it still doesn't smell dated at all. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's a simple, 
amber and zip fragrance and um, once I finish this 50 ml I am definitely gonna get me 100 ml of this fragrance um, Serge Luton Shergi Alright guys, yes, I know this video is extra long, but thank you so much for chilling. And guys, hopefully part 5 will be the last of my fragrance collection. <sighs> thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned till part 5 because part 5 hopefully is going to be the last part. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, guys, if you are new here, again, welcome. I, I'm glad that you enjoyed this video. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Go ahead and comment down what your sin of the day is. My sin of the day is almost everything here because I spread it all over, and I just feel, I just smell like Macy's right now. I smell like Neiman Marcus. I smell like a, a department store with all these fragrances. All right, guys, don't forget that I do post every Tuesdays and on Fridays, guys, at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to check me out on the Communities tab where I'll be posting deals of the days and I'll be posting announcement and polls and just talk over there. So please, 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 please stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances. Bye! <laughs>